Hello everyone, this is Zaida Golami from Ahmed Soft Research Lab and in today's video we are going to talk about Z-Test in Excel. So we know that in Z-Test we know about variances but we want to know if the means are significantly different. For example, we have the data related to the exam marks or exam results of two different classes. We know about the variances, but we want to check if the means are significantly different in these two classes. So that's one thing. The second one is that the population in Z-Test should follow the normal distribution. And the next one, which may be pops up in your head when you see the formula of z-test is that it's so similar to t-test it is but t-test is usually for small populations but in z-test there's a saying that says it should be more than 30 population so that you can run the test because more than 30 the population approximately we can say that follows normal distribution so that was a short you know introduction to z-test and now let's get into the video so for running the z-test you need to go to data tab and then here in analyze segment you should find data analysis if you do not see that click on file options add-ins and then in manage excel add-ins click on go and check analysis tool pack after you select ok you can see data analysis in analyze segment in data tab so I click on that and then you can see the list of all the tests you can run using data analysis i want to go to z test to sample for means that's the the final option. I click OK, variable one range. So I get the number one class. Then I go for variable two range. I go for next one. And then hypothesize uh, mean difference. So in here, if your null hypothesis is that the means are equal you can enter zero but if your hypothesis is that they they are not equal you can enter the difference okay so i want to hypothesize that it's they are equal you can also leave it empty okay so you do not have to enter number variable one variance so in here we should before this window we should calculate the variances for for first and second class so i close that for now and we should have variance of sample for class a and then also for class B. Okay, so then I again go for Z test. Variable one is my first class. Variable two is the second one. And the difference I said is zero, my null hypothesis. Variable one variance is 23.10, variable two 18.45. Uh, I check the labels because my first row is the labels, and then uh, alpha is 5%, which is okay for me. Output options I want to have the output range in here, let's say starting from here and that's it i click ok and then the test is run is run okay so 
Z has two sample fermions. The mean for class A and class B is calculated. Known variances are shown here and the number of observations. Then the hypothesized mean difference, which I entered as zero. So it was the null hypothesis. So then the Z score is calculated. Okay. And then the P value for one tail, if you assume that the test to be one tailed, you can see the P value. So you can, you can compare this p value to 5%. You can see it's smaller than 5%, so you can reject the null hypothesis. Then you can see z critical for one tail and also p value for two tail. So that's 7%, and you can compare that with 2.5%. Okay, so you can see that in here, 7% is bigger than 2.5%. So in here, you cannot reject the null hypothesis for two-tail test. Okay, so that was it for uh, Z-test and for running Z-test in Excel. I hope you learned something new in today's video. I will see you in the next videos. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the uh, Agrimsoft channel. I will see you in the next video and bye.